Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, February 9th, and it is a chilly day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Well, it started off chilly, uh, like 28 degrees, but the temperature's going up. We've had bizarre weather. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are seeing snow. You can basically draw a circle around where I live, and everybody outside that circle got snow. Our weather's been in the, the mid-40s, and I think it might even get up to 50 today. A lot of rain. Uh, and some of it's been, you know, very windy and, and, and a little bit chilly, but no snow. Very, very strange for February. So, enjoying some coffee. And this morning I am smoking this basket billiard with more of this uh, McBaron uh, London Blend Burley. This is starting to grow on me. I'll, I'll talk about that a bit later. But main thing I wanted to do today is I got a couple of, uh, of announcements and uh, I'm, I'm very excited about both of them. So first and foremost, uh, I'm going to be doing a format change. Um, I don't know how much it's going to affect our, uh, our Sunday morning chats. There probably won't be as many of those going forward uh, and I'll explain. I'm going to start, and I've been thinking about this for a while, any, any guys that have been watching my, uh, my live streams uh, know that I've found myself enjoying them a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, so I'm going to start doing a, a weekly live stream, and I'm going to do this on Friday nights uh, beginning at 8 o'clock, so the 8 to 9 time slot. And I chose that time slot for a couple of reasons. One is, you know, I've obviously talked a lot about this. I, th I think there's a gap left now uh, with John's passing and uh, that he's no longer going to be doing our, our, our Friday night live streams that we so enjoyed. Uh, but I also think that, uh, as I've said many times, that that block of time from 7 to 8 is, uh, and I'm talking Eastern time now, uh, that's John's time. And that's the time when we should all go and watch his videos, uh, both to keep his memory alive, to keep YouTube thinking these videos are valuable, so we're going to leave them right where they are, and also to give a little bit of money from those replays uh, to John's family. So, you know, it, it's a good thing to do all around. Plus, they're, they're greatly enjoyable. So to help with that, uh, we got Yardism doing a live stream just prior to that, and he's been doing that for some time, sort of leading up to uh, to matches. And then we're going to leave that time open to the, to the extent that we can. Uh, and then I'll begin at 8, so we're kind of bookending that time. And I, I think that's going to be uh, a nice nice way to, to sort of protect that. Um, I'm also going to be playing with the format, and uh, this is going to be interesting for me, and I hope interesting for you. So if any of you watched the uh, sort of tribute live stream that we did last Friday, I was able to incorporate uh, live calls into that and, and audio files as well. And I was thinking as I was working on, on that whole uh, concept, how great it would be to turn this into an even more interactive experience. So the live streams are great, and I think they're popular because people can get in there and they can talk to one another while you're listening to me babble on. And I think that that really is the main attraction. It's not me. It's you guys all getting together and being able to, to, to share your, uh, your time together. So I was thinking, what if we could do an interview type format? Not every week, not, not every single time, but occasionally just have a uh, someone call in and we can talk and we can talk about their pipe smoking journey basically. Uh, so I've got a, a, a first guest lined up for this Friday and I'm very excited about this. Uh, it's my friend Andrew who you probably know from YouTube and Instagram as Pipe Fool. Andrew is a great guy. He's going to have a lot of good stuff to talk about and he's also a collector of Marksman pipes. Pipes that I've been very interested in for a long time and I look forward to to hearing more about them and their history and, and things like that. So I hope you will tune in. That's this Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, the replay will be available, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, if you're if you're there live, you're going to have the opportunity to ask questions in the comment session, section and things like that. Now, some of you will note that this Friday is Valentine's Day. And, uh, you know, I can't speak for Andrew, but I'm too old and, and miserable to, <laughs> to go out on Valentine's Day. Uh, my wife and I usually do something the day before or the day after, because uh, it's just too crazy at the restaurants and everything. Uh, you know, you get to a point when you're, when you're married after 
after 20 some years you, you sort of don't need those things as much of course my wife might disagree but I do have her permission to do this on Valentine's Day so what I suggest is guys Make it a date night, you know. I'm, I'm sure your girlfriend would love to, to, to watch me interview Andrew. And, uh, and Or bring your wife into the room. They'll love it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I hope to see you there. And there will be a placeholder put up in the near future, uh, probably by the end of the day today, that'll, uh, that you can click on to get a reminder. So the, the big reason I'm excited about this, uh, this interview format is, uh, you know, not that I'm going to go out and find top pipe makers and, and uh, stars of YouTube and all that kind of stuff, because there's people already doing that on podcasts, and, you know, that's fine. That, that's all, all well and good, and, and, and they're quite enjoyable. But I'm, I want to continue this idea of storytelling, and I want to give you all an opportunity to tell a story. And, you know, you might be guys that, are, that have no interest in ever making a YouTube video, but you're pipe smokers and you got a story to tell about that. Uh, <clears throat> you might be someone that's uh, just starting a channel and, and you want to get a little bit more exposure. Um, this would be a great way for you to, to come on, reach a, a wider audience and just let us know how you got started and, and, and you know what kind of tobaccos you like and things like that. This is not going to be a, a tough uh, thing to do. It's something that any one of you guys watching could uh, could join me and just spend 15 minutes, maybe a half an hour, just chatting. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think we're going to get to meet a lot of us, a lot of the, the, the folks out there in, in a more detailed way, you know, to learn a little bit about their background, about their lives. <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to it. I, I think it's going to be uh, fascinating to do. So for this to succeed, I'm obviously going to need you guys to help me. Uh, if this is something you think you'd like to do, let me know. Send me an email. Uh, uh, I'm canerodpiper at gmail.com. Uh, if you've got somebody you'd like to, to hear interviewed, let me know, and I'll get in touch with them and see what we can do. Um, but I, I want it to be sort of a conversation on pipe smoking, and that's, that's really the goal of this, a conversation on pipe smoking with all of you. Not just me, not just the guys that are the luminaries in the in the YTBC, uh, but with with pipe smokers. So I'm really looking forward to this. I'm excited by it. I hope you'll get in touch uh, with ideas and 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 suggestions, or saying I'd I'd love to be part of this, uh, and we'll see how it goes. The other announcement is not is not my own announcement, and uh, I hope I'm not stepping on anyone's toes by doing this, but I I doubt it. I think. Uh, the uh, the information will be uh, needs to be disseminated. So, a couple of you probably noticed that uh, Eddie Gray from the Pipe, Pipe Nook did a live stream last Friday, just before mine. And actually, I, I saw a couple of people that were a little bit upset about that, and I got a, a at least one email about it. Uh, you know, it's it's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. You know, first off, we can't. We can't police this, you know. If somebody's going to do a live stream at that time, they're going to do it, and there's, you know, we we just vote with our with our feet or our eyes or whatever you do. But that's not what Eddie was doing. Eddie was taking advantage of the fact that the people that were available at that time were the people that were most likely to uh, appreciate the announcement that he was making. And I encourage you to go back and watch his his live stream. I'll link to it below. Because what he uh, announced was that uh, w he has worked with Savinelli to get a Matches 860 uh, commemorative Friday Savinelli. And it's really cool. Uh, they have to be pre-ordered, and they're going to be done as one run. So however many pre-orders he gets by a certain date is how many pipes they will make. The pipes will be numbered. So, you know, when I get mine, and I have already ordered one, um, it'll be pipe 40 of... 100 or whatever the the run winds up being now the great thing about this other than it being a beautiful pipe and it's going to have uh, matches 860 on it and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> the great thing is that a portion of the proceeds are going to john's family and i think it was really great of eddie to, to work this out uh, now i would love when i get my pipe you know i don't want to see that it's pipe six of seven I'd, I'd love to see that it's pipe 40 of 500 because that's more money that we're going to be able to uh, to generate for for John's family uh, to help them out 
uh, and it's also more people that are going to have one of these beautiful pipes in their hands and that that's really great so go to the pipe nook I'll put a link down below to his store if you just look under pipes you'll see matches memorial pipe uh, pre-order one they're, they're going to be beautiful pipes uh, it, it's I know you all want one and uh, like I said it's, it's helping out John's family too so so thanks Eddie for doing that um, I'll put a link to his live stream and to uh, the his his uh, store as well down below uh, go visit it even if you don't want one of those pipes go go visit his store because he's got a lot of great stuff and, and really good prices okay so those were my big announcements uh, just a couple couple other comments on um, sort of format going forward so I started doing this monthly live stream with a giveaway I want to continue that and I'm going to continue that as a Saturday afternoon thing um, I'm not going to do on Friday just because there's so many things changing and moving around but uh, next month, uh, not Friday I'm not going to do one in February because <laughs> there's so many things changing and moving around but March we'll get back to that we're going to do it in the middle of the month it'll be a uh, Friday afternoon maybe I'll try to move I'm uh, sorry It'll be a Saturday afternoon, and maybe I'll try to move that a little bit earlier uh, on Saturday to get more people uh, across the pond involved, uh, and uh, we will do a, a giveaway on those. So that's going to be a monthly event. And, you know, with the live stream, I, I don't know, the, the Friday live stream, I don't know if it's going to be a, uh, an interview every time. Probably not. Uh, it's probably going to be more of a traditional live stream, but we're going to play with the format. We're going to try to maybe get uh, video calls in uh, down the road. It's going to take me a while to get all this stuff figured out, but uh, that'll be fun. And occasionally, you know, I might have to uh, take some time off or something, so I'll try to schedule long format premiere type videos for, for that block of time. So there'll still be a, a time when you can go and interact in, in, the, in the, the live chat, which uh, is, is what I'm most uh, excited about. All right, folks, well, I hope... Uh, Hope you enjoyed the updates. I don't have any shop updates. I'm back to work finally because between all the the recent events and, and a really bad cold that knocked me up for about three weeks, uh, I've, I've not had a lot of shop time, but got a lot of shop time in yesterday. Things are rolling. Today, unfortunately, is uh, we got a tax appointment coming up, so today's going to be a bookkeeping day. Hooray. But you got to do it. So I hope you all are well. I hope you've uh, enjoyed your weekend so far and are uh, looking forward to a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.